Good morning, guys. So today is the third morning of the Aruba trip. And today we feel like eating at a popular pancake spot. It's called uh, Linda's. Let's go and take a look. Show me flower. If you are craving pancakes, then come here. But be prepared to wait. As you can see, this place is packed. When we were there, only outdoor seating was available. They got soda, juices, coffee, they got alcoholic drinks, even beer. They got so many selection of pancakes. I got the mango papaya pineapple pancake. You can just make your own too. They also got simple sandwiches and omelets. All right guys, so we got our pancakes. This pancake right here is strawberry and blueberries with Nutella and whipped cream. Here you go, that's your blueberry. Enjoy. And for my pancake is, um, for my pancake, I got the papaya, mango, and pineapple. It's, uh, it's sweet, it's uh, oily, it's very soft and uh, mushy, it's not crispy, it's a lot of oil in there, see, you can see it. Let's try some uh, sauce. Okay, with the sauce, it's just adding more sugar. But I, I prefer maple syrup. This syrup is a little bit uh, bitter. I mean, I guess it's good, right? I mean, um, I'm not much of a pancake fan, but if you like pancakes, you can give this place a try. This pancake right here wasn't that greasy and not that much oil. You see how dry it is? And this one was really, really, uh, really, really greasy right here. So I guess it depends it really depends on your luck. Sometimes it's really greasy and sometimes it's just right. Um, it's not a big deal. I mean, for me, it's not a big deal. But if you're going to order a pan, you're going to need some whipped cream. This whipped cream is so smooth and so, 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 um, so smooth and buttery. You, you really need to eat it with the pancakes. And then uh, Nutella too. Get some Nutella here, right? Get some Nutella here, it takes, it's like makes the taste a lot better. Um, so that's the tips I can give you. That's it. So we finished eating breakfast at the can pancake place and now we are across the street from the hotel, the resort, and this is Eagle Beach. These two trees right here is a really, really big IG spot. And, uh, you know, as you can see, a lot of people like to come here, take pictures of this tree. And the reason is maybe because it's in the middle of the ocean. So, you know, you got tree and you got ocean. Very pretty, very ig -able. It's right in the middle of the beach, right? It's like curved up like this. Can you imagine how many people sit on this tree a year? Think about that. Okay, let's get out of here. We stopped by Superfood Supermarket again, and this time we found the fresh milk.
So we are finally here at the second hotel. Oh boy, this place is called the Renaissance. If you look at the whole thing right here, the Marina Hotel is over here. And over here is the Ocean Suites. This is, M Marina is adults only and Ocean Suites is family friendly. So that's where we are here right now. This is, this is an Ocean Suite room. So let's check it out. So this room has a bedroom with a very small TV. Let's see how the bed is. Oh, this is memory foam. This bed is much more comfortable than the one we were at. So there's a door going to the bathroom. Every single soap you need, conditioner, body lotion, everything. You got a hair dryer here. You got a bath mat. You got a double sink right here. So you have a shower room right here. If you take a look at the shower room, the the tiles are like chipping over there. Let me get got chip tiles right here. But overall, it's okay. It's not a big deal. You got a total toilet right here. Let's go into the living room. You guys know I like to see a microwave. Got microwave here. Oh, you got a blender. Oh, a toaster. That's very nice. That's very nice. You got a coffee machine. Whoa, you got big pots and pans. You could do some serious, serious cooking right here. You could cook for a whole, whole a family of 10 people. Glass, cups, bowls. So this is how you're gonna cook it right here. Electric stove top. And then we have one mini fridge right here. This opens nothing. And over here we have another fridge. Another fridge, okay. Two is better than one, right? Ah, okay, so they have water here. It's $4.50 a bottle. That's why you gotta go to the supermarket. Okay, what's here? You have the cooking stuff. You have a bottle opener and knives and forks. You got the dishwasher tray with soap, with a sponge, two rolls of uh, bounty. This is a nice living room. Ah. You got the iron board, and you got the iron, and you got um, extra um, extra pillows and stuff. I wonder if this couch is a bed. Oh, there you go. Look. This couch can convert into a, a bed. So this room can accommodate for at least, at least four or five people, no problem. Let me see. Now, let's see about the view. Um... Yeah, so you'll be looking at the parking lot. <laughs> uh. So yummy. So this room is about um, 500 a night. And the reason why you want to stay in this hotel is mainly is to go to that Flamingo Island. Um, so if you stay in this hotel, you can take the boat over there. You can see some flamingos. <laughs> Other than that, it's really hard to justify, you know, paying this much for this place. So that's it for the room tour. I'll show you guys around later. We set out to have an early dinner at a popular German restaurant. I love German food and especially German beer. The Google reviews are really good as well. 
the decor is really fun and the staff are very nice. They got a large selection of beer. The special of the day was pork knuckle and also this beef stew. There's some other foods like shiznos and pretzel. They got sausages. We ordered two German beers, a dark beer and a grapefruit beer. Both was really good. Okay guys, our food is here, and let me tell you what I got. I got the pork knuckle. Sausage. Pork knuckle, look how Sausage. Yeah, sausage. Look how big this pork knuckle is. It's crazy. Mm. Whoa. You know what? I, I know this is going to be good. Mmm. Mmm. See? Mmm. Thank you. Mm. That's good, that's good. Let me see, so this is the, um, the beef stew. Mm. The beef, very tender, very herby, very peppery, and like very meaty, like, uh, like you're eating this with like a, a loaf of bread, right? And then I got some red, red cabbage here. Red cabbage, really sweet, really sweet. Let me see, let's try it. Got one, two, three, four, four different kinds of sausage here. That one's like a hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah, these two is like, it's like a hot dog. But let's try this one, this one looks special here. See this one here? So this one's supposed to be with uh, mustard. Mm. Yeah, it's much better with the mustard. Mm. Get some mustard, huh? That's the real one. This one. This one's very meaty. Very German taste. And then gotta eat it with the eat it with the sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Oh my god, there's a lot of sauerkraut here too. Look at this. <laughs> sauerkraut, sauerkraut, mashed potatoes. With this pork knuckle here. Whoa. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Your pretzel. Wow. Oh, got it. Got it. What's that? So you can't eat German food without pretzel, right? Pretzel. Mm. Oh, it smells good. That sauce. Very soft. Very soft. This sauce is good. Um, I don't know what kind of sauce it is. Like um, like a yogurt, a yogurt sauce. Hmm. Mm. So if you're in Aruba, you definitely gotta stop by this place because you know you're going to Caribbean. 
You're gonna eat like hamburgers and French fries and grilled fish. You're gonna get bored of that, right? So you gotta stop by here, eat some, you know, German food. Good. Say good. Yeah, good. <laughs> All together was $109 before tips. Overall, I highly recommend this place to come drink some German beer and eat pork knuckle. But next time, I would just skip on the sausage platter. That's it guys for Aruba Part 4. The next video, Aruba Part 5, we will finally be going to the Flamingo Island. As always, thanks for watching. I see you guys later. Have a nice day.